muchacho. Ajá, ¿y por qué? Mire, sí, en, en, en el campo ahí donde yo nací, mm. ahí había una, una pareja que tenía ah. un muchachito. Allá bueno. le decían Maguila. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, what made you want to cut hair? Um, kind of my uncle encouraged me. You know, I used to always wash hair at his salon and stuff like that. I used to watch him cut. You know, I thought it was impossible, but nothing is impossible. You know what I'm saying? You just need practice. The more, the more you, you know, you work on what you, what you, you know, you love, the more you get better at it, you know what I'm saying? It's like that with anything, you know, it's like that with anything in life. So what was your challenges as a barber uh, um, before owning a barber shop? What was your dream then? Was you on a mission to get your own? Yeah, because it's not easy working for people, you know, especially when they don't, when they light bill, you know, cuts off or it's hard you know when like you work for people and it's like it's not the same thing as having your own place you know what I mean you get that freedom you know it's not it's, you don't feel like you owe anybody you know So when did you start cutting hair? Um, I started when I was 16 years old. You know, in a bathroom, in a, in a little bathroom. And from the bathroom, we started progressing to the hallway. From the hallway, I took it to the streets. You know, doing home deliveries and all kind of stuff. I mean, I started everywhere. From uptown down down to like to the Lower East Side, I used to work for Tony Campbell for the Minnesota Timberwolves back in the days. It was uh I forgot the name of it, some old school barbershop up there in uh, Spanish Harlem. So where was the location that you started um uh, your your first cuts? Uh, was, where in uh, New York it City? The, it was in the Lower East Side. It was in uh, 251 East Third Street. So in the hallways you was cutting hair. In the hallway days. Okay, cause I, cause I, I, I remember you cut my hair, and um, and and one thing that you was good at is marking with your symbols, and people were like just letting you be experimental on their hair. Yeah, that's when the designs were big, but you know it's still big, you know. But you know everybody used to throw a little a mark, uh, you know a little symbol like Silas. Silas used to have a little symbol. It was like a trademark thing, you know. You leave your, your little symbol behind, your mark behind and stuff like that. It's pretty cool though. It's still in style. People still do it. So, no. um, no. how old are you? I'm gonna be, uh, I'm 39, I'll be 40 in May. So, so how long you been cutting hair for? All together? Like 25 years. Like 25 years, right? 25 years. So you have your own shop now, right? Yeah. So you had to start from a hallway to inside, uh, inside uh, everybody of you. Everybody gotta start from the bottom. That's, yeah. the, that's the way to do it, you know? It's just, my luck was that I had a lot of cousins. I had a lot of friends. You know, a lot of male friends, a lot of male cousins. I had a, I had a big family, so. They were my guinea pigs, you know what I'm saying? I used to practice on them, you know, all day. Designs, parts, all kind of, all kind of stuff, you know? But I got a lot of practice from my family. They helped out a lot, you know? I try to, I try to, you know, put him into the business because it's a family business. I got everybody that's doing it. My uncle's doing it. My, my, my cousin in Puerto Rico is doing it. So it's a family business. But I try to encourage all my other cousins to do it, but they never picked up, you know. I try, you know, put my brother on. He was like into drawing and stuff like that. But you know, I guess I'm the only one. He always skips a generation, you know. Maybe my son will pick it up, or maybe his son will pick it up. But I know it won't, I won't let it die, that's for sure. I'm gonna let this tradition live. Cause it's a family business, you know what I mean? Been this game too long. Too long. 
and I'm nice at what I do. I'll back it up. So, um, how long Juan has been cutting your hair for? 20 years. 20 years. Why you come to him? Because he's the man. Okay. Right one. Yeah. All right. Is it monster? You got the what? What's it called? Nice, very nice. What was it called? Sexy? Very sexy. How sexy? Huh? Come on, how sexy? Sexy beast. Prices are amazing because there ain't nobody out here. They call it, they call mm -hmm. it the 80s prices. The the, 80s prices. Uh, so, so why you made it the 80s prices? Because uh, um, you know, cause times are bad right now. You know what I'm saying? People, especially on this area, everything's progressing, but nobody's getting extra. You know, nobody's getting that money. You know, things are bad around here. You know, people struggling. You know, you got Apple pickers, which is you know people that steal your iPod. You gotta worry about all that. You know, you got a bunch of you got a bunch of crazy people in New York. You know how it is. It's rough in New York. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. That's for sure. Especially in this profession.